A haloalkane is simply an alkane which contains a halogen group in the place of where one hydrogen atom would have otherwise been. A halogen group is simply an element from the final group of the periodic table. In level 2, the most common ones you'll be dealing with are chlorine, fluorine and bromine. And because nothing here is how it looks, these are referred to as chloro, fluoro and bromo. Because a haloalkane is technically still an alkane, we use the suffix "-ane", when naming haloalkanes. The halogen group is treated as a branched group, and is referenced with its carbon location at the start of the molecule. For example, a molecule of pentane, which has a chlorine atom instead of a hydrogen atom at its third carbon, is referred to as 3-chloropentane. There are three different kinds of reactions that haloalkanes can undergo two substitution, and one elimination reaction. First, we are going to look at how haloalkanes halo react, halo with react with ammonia. ammonia. Which you remember ammonia, you may remember, is a colourless gas with a truly horrid, smell, gas smell, with a truly horrid and smell, and it has a formula, and a formula of formula NH3. NH3. Let's, look at, Let's look at the reaction of ammonia, of ammonia and a and simple, simple haloalkane, like chloroethane. Like chloro Do you see why this is counted as another substitution reaction? Do you see the why this is counted as another substitution the reaction? Have been swapped for the the chlorine nitrogen atom that and two of the hydrogen atoms from the ammonia have been swapped for the chlorine atom that was originally stuck onto the haloalkane. One of, One the, of products the products of this is simply, is simply hydrochloride, hydrogen chloride, or hydrochloric often called acid. hydrochloric acid. Now, what about the other product? Because the what chlorine branching be group called? has been replaced with an amine. amino group, and amine the organic is product is now referred to as aminoethane. Haloalkanes Halo also react with potassium, potassium hydroxide, KOH. KOH. But depending on the conditions, the conditions, of, that KOH, on the conditions of that we can, KOH, end, up we can end up getting two different types of reactions, and therefore two therefore, different types of products. We'll, we'll begin, begin with, with aqueous, aqueous KOH, KOH, which is the simpler, which of, these is the simpler of these reactions. When haloalkanes, when haloalkanes react with aqueous KOH, we get a simple substitution, a simple reaction. substitution reaction. reaction. Here, we'll, we'll look, look at how chloroethane reacts, reacts with, with aqueous, aqueous potassium hydroxide. It should be relatively, should be relatively clear, clear how, this how this is a substitution reaction. reaction. One of the products is One of the simple, products is simple chloride, potassium and chloride, is an and the other now is ethanol. Unfortunately, Something completely different happens when we react to haloalkane, we use the same one for simplicity's sake, with alcoholic KOH. KOH. This time, this time we, get we get an elimination reaction, elimination reaction which involves forming which a, double, involves bond forming a double bond in the alkane. The two inorganic, the two products, products, inorganic here, products here, potassium, potassium chloride, chloride here, again, potassium chloride and, water and water are not really, are not really important. important. What is, what is important, important is for you to realise what has what happened, happened here in this elimination, in this elimination reaction. reaction. Firstly, Firstly, the ethane the has, ethane lost, a has of lost a couple of the things. Chlorine has gone, the chlorine so has, has gone, the and so has one of the hydrogen atoms from the left-hand carbon. carbon. Then, carbon. then, then a, double a double bond has formed between, between the two, the two carbon, carbon atoms, atoms, which means which that means instead, that of, instead alkane, of an alkane, we, have an alkene. we now have an alkene. We're going to discuss Specifically, we have ethene. ethene. The difference between alcoholic and aqueous KOH may not seem important, but as you can see, it creates a massive difference in the products. If you have trouble identifying the difference, remember that alcohol eliminates, in the same way it eliminates brain cells if you drink the night before an exam. Amines may sound complicated, but in theory are actually pretty similar to haloalkanes. They simply have an NH2 group instead of a halogen group. The most confusing thing about them is that they can be named in two different ways. You can either treat the amino group as a branched group, and put the amino group at the start, i.e. aminopropane, or use the suffix amine, i.e. propanamine. We tend to use the second one, unless there is another functional group present, which we award the suffix to instead. Amines are most famous for their ability to undergo acid-base reactions, acting as the base. For example, they can react with water to create an alkaline solution with spare hydroxide ions. This may seem a lot to take in, but we promise it gets easier the more you practice. If you need to, re-watch this video and pause at the harder sections. The more you watch it, the more it will sink in, and the greater our views on YouTube will be.